Hey, welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed my last show on how to make pasta with clam sauce. Well, now we're going to make scongili with pasta. And just follow me. I'm going to take you to the supermarket and uh, you're going to enjoy it. So just follow me through and here we go. Giuseppe's cooking show. Uh, I bought a pound and a half of uh, scongili in the shell and, and they, they cleaned it for me. Out of a pound and a half I get three quarters of a pound of uh, scongili. Okay. Chopping up the scongili now in pieces. Just chop as thin as you can, like almost like a potato chip. The reason why I'm cutting this, I didn't steam it, the reason is that I want to keep the juices because I, I can cook it in the gravy and the juice could permeate into the, into the tomato sauce. Okay, cut this part out. I'm going to take this here, I'm going to put it in the food processor, I'm going to make it like a chopped meat. Good enough, right there. I chopped up the uh, the hard part that was it's very chewy, and I'm gonna put it in in uh, with the rest that I cut up, sliced up. Yeah, and that it's gonna bring out more flavor to the to the spaghetti gravy. Okay, I'm cutting up two onions, uh, one large and one small. This is going to go in with the uh, oil, olive oil. Okay, we're turning the flame on. I want to get this, the uh, oil hot first. And, uh, I'll put it in about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little more than a quarter of a cup. Alright. Alright, that's about what I want in here. Looks like a hit. Turn it up high so I'll put the oil hot. I'll get them until they become a little translucent. Then I'm going to put Kosher salt there, and I'm going to put this much. Okay. Break it up the tomatoes. About put in some tomato paste, about, about this much. That's going to make the gravy a little thicker. 
Okay. I'm putting in the basil. This gives it like a nice taste, you know. But, uh, it's not really that, it doesn't dominate the taste of the corn, the squidgeely. But it smells good, it smells fresh, it smells very earthly. Okay, mmm, it smells very good. Yes. Take all the time. Now, I don't have to wait for anything, I could just throw the conch in right now. And then let it simmer for about an hour. And I have the hot part I ground up, the soft part I cut into like slices, like a, I mean, you can see the slices there. Okay, that's it. Put it all together. Wait until it gets hot, boil until it starts to boil. Be, uh, that's going to be a nice gravy. It's going to go nice with the spaghetti. So I'll put the top on. Oh, look at this. I caught it boiling. Look at this. Now I'm going to lower the heat and uh, I'm going to simmer it for about an hour. So I'm going to get the water ready for the uh, pasta, for the gravy. Okay, let's wait. Uh, I got another 15 minutes to go. It's, this is 45 minutes already, and it looks done to me. The water's boiling. Okay, I'm gonna put in the spaghetti. Number, spaghetti number eight. I'm stirring the spaghetti so it doesn't stick. And I set the timer for Minutes. I think it's almost ready. I want to see if it's al dente. Okay. Mm, not ready. No, another minute. I'll add another minute. Yeah. Okay, it's ready. Shut this off. Pour it in the serving dish. Pasta with spongili. Voila! That's how simple it is to make spongili with pasta. So stay tuned for more recipes. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to comment on my recipes.